Welcome back to Vex Weekly. On Vex Weekly, we'll be discussing many different bots, three to be specific. One bot will be able to develop a double parking system to the first one that I've seen in person that can actually lower ramp that allows for their teammate to climb up. Second bot is able to go under the long goals, first time I've seen this, and is able to efficiently score using lots of pneumatic tricks and a very nice design bot. And finally, our last bot, well designed in a snail-like form, but also is able to develop a technique that I haven't seen before to de-score from the long goals. And not just from the little tip edge, but from the entire part that's not the enclosed section. This week on Vex Weekly. Starting off with our robot that can lower down a ramp. This is a very well designed robot as you can see here with many well designed features. It is able to intake quickly, score quickly, but best of all, the reason we're talking about this is that ramp. It can lower it down. A few questions I have for this is, how can we apply this to our robots and is it able to get both in there with now touching the ground? I think it is. This is a good design though that every team should follow. Being able to somehow get a ramp. If you can somehow make your mechanism to where your robot can just double park, that would be great. Now the only thing is, what do you sacrifice when you have to double, when you double park? You're sacrificing, like at best, you're probably sacrificing a whole hopper. With the hopper bots, if you took away the hopper, you could make this work. But without, but then you're sacrificing the whole hopper. So is it really worth doing this? Well, it depends. It depends on your play style. It depends on who, is it a surefire way of getting your um, partner on or is it only half the time? That's what it all matters on. But I think this is a very interesting design that I haven't seen done yet. And it's just cool seeing it for the first time. I think it's definitely worth mentioning and definitely worth applying to your robots. If you think you can pull this off, do it, because this is worth a lot of points and could definitely help with getting people. So, our next robot is one that just impresses me in multiple factors. It is just one of the most um, well-designed, fluid, um, just really good and just efficient robots I've seen. There's been hopper bots, but this isn't a hopper bot, and I just don't really like the hopper bot design. I get the efficiency and point behind it. I don't personally like that, but it's definitely a good design to be meta. But this bot is just something else. I mean, it looks nice. They have, they're using plastic bars for the um, paneling, which is not popular considering the fact that, um, that you can only have 12 pieces. But I love, I love this bot. It can go under, it can pop back up and shoot in through the intake. It's just a very well-designed, well, there's two of them, but they're well-designed robots. They can double park, they can um, get those uh, match loads really quickly. It's just a really well-designed bot, and honestly, one of the best I've seen the whole season so far. So, I mean, if they're going, I think they're going to Mall of America, and that would definitely I'm interested to see you uh, perform well. Speaking of Mall America, we will be covering that um, later um, when it starts this this week. Um, and on to our last spot. The last spot we're going to talk about today is a well-designed, um, well, I believe to be a snail intake bot. It's well-designed. It's well. It's good intakes, and I, I really like the design. But what really impressed me and pushed me to include it was how they could de-score. The thing is, with these long goals, you can definitely de-score from where there's no, uh, no, no covering. But when there's covering and there's just that slit on the side, it's really hard to de-score unless you have like a rod or something. And I really like what they do. They kind of have like standoffs or something poking out of the side, and it just runs right up to the side like that and just pushes them all out. And it's really well done. And I really think that this design needs to be implemented by every single team. Because you can do it. As long as you have a tall enough bot, which everyone should, you have a tall enough bot to reach there, you just put some standoffs on the house. Or something, something that can come out and you just swipe on by. And uh, I think that's a very, very efficient way of doing that. Just having that. And I think it's just the one of the best designs I've seen for de-scoring and definitely innovative. 
And um, I think that's what all these robots demonstrate today is they demonstrate the uh, being innovative, they demonstrate um, the new changes that have come, they demonstrate how to play this game efficiently and at its core. Anyways, that's it for this week on Bex Weekly.